Welcome back to Let's Play Endless Space 2 on Endless Difficulty. I'm JC Proton. We're picking up where we left off. Uh, it's turn 81, and it is, I guess this is episode 17 on the second Let's Play series. Um, playing with uh, Super Horatios. They're uh, gene splicing, extreme foremen with planet menders. And sowers is the minor population, and they have been spliced. So I no longer have depletion on my planets. Um, the election went well last turn. Uh, we now have ecologists firmly back in charge. Um, and we have industrialists as the secondary. So that is perfect. Um, what is not perfect is I <laughs> made a bad decision and moved my fleet off Nolan and United Empire came in, kicked my butt, and is going to destroy my outpost. There's no saving it. Um, I also lost several ships in the conflict. Um, so I've I lost four of the six here attacking the fleet at Esther. I'm going to head it back here to regroup in AF. Uh, I'm sending this uh, overwatch ship here just to keep an eye on things. Um, I'm building some fleet here to replace some of the ships I lost. Um, I've tinkered around off camera with my build cues to get um, to basically move planets back into uh, like like these I, I didn't have access to and these I didn't have access to and this one and so on so I moved those back to where I can go ahead and colonize those. Um, that's about all I've done so far. AF. Hmm. <laughs> Keep those clear of enemy ships. Interesting. We'll see how that goes. It's worth 30 titanium, though, so that's pretty good. Oh, that ended. Okay, so without that, where what's my gathering rate? 8. 10. That's still pretty darn good. got these level 3 modernizations going. Hardship Ready is active and Peace and Performance Edict is ended. Quantized Economics on 3 systems level 3. Quantized Economics Ooh, that is a, that is an expensive tech. That would take me about ten turns to research. And for that price, it's pretty underwhelming. <laughs> it's pretty underwhelming. <coughs> like that would have been pretty cool, or 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 that, or that that would have been really cool, or or one of these. No. I got that one. But, you know, hey, I mean, it's better that than, like, something like this, right? So, something I, I could complete in one turn. So, I shouldn't complain. It's a free tech. Super Horatios. Yeah, that came to an end. I'm going to have to do something about that. Level 3 Heroes. So there's no change from level 1 to level 2 on the Senate. So I'll just do this one.
Okay, let's go through and do the trick. We'll do the spaceport trick. First, I'm going to go through and cancel all of the movement. So I don't accidentally move population around that I don't want to do. <coughs> Actually, you know what? I'll do that at the end of the turn. I'm trying to be sensitive to the fact that, you know, some viewers are just not going to be interested in watching that, uh, that activity. Amoebas, huh? Basic monohull plating. Okay. Oh, I, I did a um, slight upgrade. I went ahead and put on the uh, the good shields here. Stance. Oh, that's a nice upgrade. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and spend the Hyperium. I have so much of it at this point that I might as well. population and 615 food. Okay, back to the trick.
Now we just move population off. Now we only need 54. How much do we have? A lot more than that. Do I want to pass a law for this? How close am I to getting these systems? have Corona. But it's getting close. Ooh, brains over bucks is a good law. You lose 20% of your dust, but you get 20% more science. I can afford to lose some dust. So 687 and 1899. Let's do that. So I lost like 200 and something dust. And I got like or 4,000, th I mean like 300 and something uh, extra research. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do this. Spend the 54. Go back here and put everybody back. Okay, that's taken care of. Finally. Yeah, I think I think it will be best if I focus on just getting the existing systems I have well developed, building fleet to defend myself. Um not get too aggressive on my expansion that may happen later i i think i'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> let it be it's way out there it's way isolated it's hard to support it's hard to defend just like doing stuff over here will be um or back here it's just almost impossible to, to hold it you're really really reaching so what I need to focus on really is le 
let's discover this. Let's get this um, so we can find out what the top level luxury resources are. Where are they? Make sure we get those systems. And now that we've had the election, we can afford to do. We can afford to try to do some treaties. Let's talk to this huh? guy. Oh, it's you guys. So. <laughs> ah. What do you say about some peace? Oh, he's really turning against that idea. It's gotten a lot more expensive to try to have peace with him. Okay, never mind. He doesn't want peace. Okay. What about Lumeris? You guys want peace, right? Welcome, welcome. How can the families help? How about it? You want a lot of Hyperium, huh? How about 20? How about 20 Hyperium? No? 30? give us your maps too. Save us a whole bunch of exploring. times when the church must act in its own best interests. Okay, so you definitely don't want peace. So there are definitely some, he doesn't want peace, he can't have peace. I don't want peace with them. Um, we're at war. What about peace, huh? How about we some peace? We are at war. You test my patience contacting the Empire. He'd give me a truce if I'd give him some Hyperium, huh? No. Okay, well, that's pretty good. I mean, that's, that's more peace than I had. That's a couple more pieces. And I got their maps, too, so... Is that 100% of the galaxy? Yep. Poof. Rapid fire colonization. Or, I mean, whatever. Reveal. Revelation? The heart finds your proposal of value. And we are glad to accept it. Not just a deal. A bargain. So the only way I end up regretting this is if these guys that I have made peace with end up allying with somebody who I'm at war with. 
<laughs> like this guy, the United Empire. Um, that's where it, it bites you. And this is around the time of the game when people start allying up a lot. Okay, so we'll go ahead and spend some influence. We're, we're cranking out almost 600 per turn at this point. We're done with the election. We don't have to set any aside. We're not even using any on laws right now. Uh, we'll end up canceling cram exam next turn to... Whenever the time comes that this Karana is going to become a colony. And then we'll switch back to the laws we had again. So let's go ahead and just praise these guys. Just do the basic praising up to plus four. Should maybe try a selective migration. How much dark glitter do I have? 29. It's unlikely that you would survive the, the, the trip. I think it will be more worth more worthwhile doing if I can get one or more of these and then I will have them travel just the short distance to the out to the one system. Okay, I think we're ready to advance the turn. So I'm at, okay, so let's run down the score charts. Um, I'm at 754. Um, the Vodiani are 235, Unfallen 294, uh, United Empire 502, Sofons 4, 5, 453, Cravers are 850, Riftborn 590, Lumeris 671, and Valters 318. I should, if I, if I focus and just concentrate my effort here, I should be able to be fine against the Vaulters, and I should be able to deal with United Empire, even if the Sofuns get get froggy and jump at me. 
I, I should be able to defend. I should be able to defend. So we need to just start uh, cranking out some ships. And, you know, who knows? We may end up making some invasion ships, some siege ships, and uh, take this and this. You know, that's that's the thing. It's nice and close. Gets us more titanium. Gets us more Eden incense while we're working on these uh, researches. We'll go ahead and reveal the wormholes. And we'll probably get compact warp methods too. And we'll just, uh, we'll get this terraforming over here. And we'll get these systems nice and tall. We'll get these systems of when they're running like an average of something like around 10 pop per planet. Something like that anyway. So we'll be having systems with a 40 plus population in them. And uh, yeah, then we'll see things really turn to our advantage. Uh, yeah, seems like a good stopping point. Uh, let's see. I need to hit end turn, don't I? Okay, let's do that. Sometimes I forget. I totally do forget. I forget a lot of things. This was a good turn. Got a lot done. Uh, got some pieces established. Peace with some civil civs that are uh, willing to be peaceful. I don't normally have alliances, but it's a thing that might happen. Yeah, I lost my outpost. Yeah, it's gone. Cool. That's good to have that one over with. Yeah, our approval's picking up. Getting better, man. Getting better. Got a new leader to think about. Ooh, pretty easy choice right here. Overseer is the winner, and this is a really good one. Not only is she ecologist, but she also has this deposit value on strategic resource deposits. So you get this bonus, plus you get this bonus. Very nice. And on system, uh, plus 2% industry per hero level. So, very good, very good leader. Very good leader. We're, we're just going to go ahead and grab that one. That's an easy choice. Look at that. Over a thousand industry now. Ooh. Okay, I'll have to think about where to place that leader. Oh, this guy gained a level? <laughs> this is going to be ridiculous. This is going to be ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to do it just for fun. Um, there's, there's, there's no need to have this amount of food on a system. Look, it's already at that, right? He's already making 530. Nine seventy eight. <coughs> so that's another four hundred and forty, almost four hundred and fifty, something like that. That was that's a huge amount of food, man. That is a huge amount of food. Oh, before I forget, uh, we need to change the law, right? The outpost. Oh, wait, Karana. They're not arriving yet. Food ships are almost there. That's funny. Ah, yeah, I'll have to figure out where to put people. Colonize lava, yeah, boy. Got a decoy finished. 
upgrade him. Watch this. Okay, so his defense is 287. 312. Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more of a splash, but that's okay. Shielded, autonomous materials. Yep. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do some stuff off camera, fiddling around with build queues and moving populations around and just making sure things are kind of optimized. And then, um, and then, yeah, then we'll pick up in a uh, turn 82 um, in the next video. So until then, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you would like to, please like, subscribe, comment. It would be much appreciated. And it will help the channel grow. Although I'm at two subscribers right now. So I'm, I've, I've, I've grown. I've grown. <laughs> anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.